Welcome to our UNGG Stories for Kids. The Case of the Missing Violin Once upon a time, there was Ella and her violin. Ella loved playing her violin more than anything in the world. Every day after school, she would sit by the window and play beautiful songs. Sometimes her cat Whiskers would curl up next to her and purr along. But there was one person who loved Ella's violin playing the most, her grandpa. Wow. Ella, every note you play makes my heart dance, grandpa always said with a big smile. One morning, something terrible happened. Ella couldn't find her violin. Mom, Dad, where's my violin? She shouted, running and running and running and running and running and running and running around the house, looking under the sofa, behind the curtains, under the bed, and even in the kitchen cupboards. Hmm. Her mom shook her head. I haven't seen it, sweetheart. Did you check your room? I checked everywhere. Ella welled her eyes, filling with tears. <laughs> Just then, Grandpa walked in, his cane tapping the floor. What's all this fuss about? I lost my violin, Grandpa. Ella sniffled. I can't find it anywhere, and I was going to play with it today. Grandpa looked thoughtful and then smiled softly. Well, let's put on our detective hats and solve this mystery together. But I've already searched everywhere, Ella said, throwing her hands in the air. Ah, but sometimes the best detectives don't just look with their eyes. They use their minds too, Grandpa said, tapping his head. Ella wiped her ears and nodded. Okay, let's be detectives. Grandpa winked, just like that. Now, where was the last place where you remember having it? Ella thought for a moment. Hmm, I was playing it in my room yesterday afternoon. Then I put it down somewhere. Hmm. Did you check under your bed? Grandpa asked. Of course, it wasn't there, Ella said. Grandpa scratched his chin. Hmm, did Whiskers play with it? Ella giggled. Grandpa, Whiskers is a cat. He can't play the violin. Grandpa chuckled. True, but you never know. Cats are sneaky. Just then, Whiskers sauntered into the room, rubbing against Grandpa's leg. Maybe Whiskers took it and is hiding it to play his own little concert, Grandpa joked. Ella giggled again, but then her face fell. What if I never find it? I love my violin so, so much. Grandpa put his arm around her. Don't worry, Ella, we will find it. Things don't just disappear. They always show up when you stop looking so hard. Ella took a deep breath. <sighs> okay, but I've already checked everywhere. Grandpa smiled. Sometimes when you stop worrying, the answer just appears. Suddenly, a light bulb went off in Ella's head. Wait, I didn't check the whole closet. I left my violin there after practice yesterday because Whiskers was chasing me and I forgot to grab it. She dashed to the closet, threw open the door and there it was. Her beautiful violin, safe and sound. I found it! I found it! Ella shouted, hugging her violin. Grandpa clapped his hands. Aha! The case of the missing violin is solved. Ella laughed, feeling so relieved. Thanks for helping me, Grandpa. I guess I just needed to calm down and think. Grandpa smiled warmly. That's the secret, my dear. Sometimes we get so worried we forget to use our heads. And then he laughed. <laughs> that evening, Ella played a special song on her violin just for Grandpa. As she played, Grandpa smiled and whispered. Every note you play still makes my heart dance, Ella. And Whiskers, he curled up by the window, purring along as always. The moral of the story, when you feel worried, take a deep breath and then think calmly. The answer is often right in front of you. Thank you for listening. Until next time.